Hi everyone, we're going to use a little Stazon ink today and the music stamp and this is going to be the under layer to the next step. So all I'm doing is inking up my stamp and just repeating the pattern and don't worry if this is not completely straight because like I said this is going to be an under layer and I need one more section probably and that will do me. And then we're going to use water paper tearing to tear out this image here. Okay, because we want soft edges. So this is my last stamp. There we go. Now I'm going to take some water and I'm just going to loosely go around the edges like so. And if you do when the water technique, if you do it a couple times to make sure that the water is completely saturated into your paper, and then let it sit just a second, long enough to put the top back onto my stamp here, you should hopefully be able to come back and just tear your paper. Like I said, we want this nice and easy. Okay, so now I'm going to do a wax paper uh, ink transfer technique. This is the wax paper that has been at the bottom of my spray box. The colors lately that I have been using to spray have been the Delusions Lemon Zest, the Delusions Bubblegum Pink, and the Heidi Swap Gold Shine. So those are my three basic colors. So I'm going to take some water and just mist, which will reactivate my inks. And then I'm going to take my piece of tissue paper that I just um, tore out, crumpled up, then I'm going to smooth it back out again, lay it on top of the inks, and when you're doing this, you want to make sure you smooth out your colors because if you just take your fingers and press down, you're going to get the shapes of your fingers through this tissue paper. And lift up. And I like to take it and move it around a little bit. Put it back down again. And let's see what we got here. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Pull that aside so you can see that. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's going to be our second layer. This is going to go over the music note. So we're going to let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so now we're going to add our two layers together. And I'm doing this off of my journaling page so that I don't get any of the decoupage paste onto the outer edges. I want this to be a separate element that I'm going to add to it. So the first layer is the music note that we stamped. And then the tissue paper that we've inked. And we're going to decoupage that right on top. And I'm using Helmer's Decoupage and Craft Paste. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and just turn this over. And then I'm going to take my ink paper and go right on the top of it. I love the way that you can see the stamped music notes through the tissue paper that you've inked. So I think that turned out really pretty. Okay, so we'll let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I've taken both of my papers that I collaged together, let them dry, and I have glued them down to my journaling page. I've slid this Meyer Road Metal Vintage Trinket that you can get on the store. You just slide them on just like so to my page and then glued it down and that way I don't have to worry about um, how to adhere it or having glue show. Next thing that I did was I took using my pipette 
some black ink that the sprayer wasn't working anymore in the bottle. And I took it out and I put it into my Secure Koi pen. Now we're going to see how this works. I hope it works good. So I've got the black spray ink inside here. Okay. So I'm going to hopefully draw like a little whimsical branch coming out here. I might have to go back over it again because it's probably got water in it from where I was had water in the brush beforehand. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I drew a little bird shape here. I also added some little trilly limbs and some leaves and some circles I'm going to color in. But I don't want my bird to be see-through. Um, so I'm going to take some the Faber-Castell Fluid Gesso. Okay, there it is. Faber-Castell Fluid Gesso. And I'm going to paint him in. And that way, when it dries... I'll be able to paint over him even with inks or something and he won't be see-through. Okay, so my little gesso bird is all nice and dry. So I'm going to take my large water brush and I'm going to take the pink bubblegum ink spray and a little tip that I have learned is to use these little plastic trays. I can do one squirt and it's done. And then I can dip my brush into there and use it just like paint. Just like a watercolor. Um, these brushes are really awesome. I cannot do without them. As a matter of fact, I very rarely use a regular brush anymore. This is what I go to all the time. And I admit I have them in all sizes because it's just really simple, really easy to use. Okay, so I have my little bird drawn. And I took... Let's see here. Let's go to the tail. I took some little flower petals that I cut out of a magazine. I'm going to glue those onto his tail. I took a little tiny flower and I added one of the um, beads from the December kit right to the center of the flower for his little eyeball. Okay, so I got my leaves colored in, and now I'm just going to go around and outline my little bird here. 
I wanted a little whimsical bird, so I just drew a freeform shape. Nothing fancy or hard. Okay. I think. Oh. I'm gonna. glue my little eye in here. Big flower eye. Okay. A little too much glue. There we go. And I'm going to take some of these little flower petals that I cut out of a magazine. And we're going to add that to her tail. Oops, I'm losing one underneath my sage there. I got two under there, I think. There we go. layering here. Okay. Oh, she needs a wing. And I'll be back as soon as I figure out what I want to write on everything. Okay, so I've got everything completed. Last thing to do is my journaling. First thing I do is make my lines for where I want my journaling to be. I think it's important if you want to try and get it straight. And I do try. It doesn't always work. Next, I penciled in what I wanted to write. And now I'm going to write over the pencil with my pen. And then I'll go back and erase my pencil marks. And I'll be finished. Um, I hope everybody gets to do a little page. I tried to make this one cute. We got a little bit of white space going here because that's really hard for me. And I wanted to work on something that was hard for me to do. So I chose to try to keep some white space around my uh, little project here. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you get to make one. And see us next week. In the meantime, please stop by the Frosted Designs Facebook page and if you get a chance we would love to see what you do love for you to share it we all enjoy looking at each other's work and it's a lot of fun have a great week bye everybody